Download this code from codegive.com, link in the description below. The ARM 11 exception error on the Nintendo 3DS is a commonly encountered issue that can occur after a system update, especially if there are underlying problems with the firmware or the installed software. This error usually manifests as a crash and a message indicating an ARM 11 exception has occurred. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to troubleshoot and potentially fix this issue. Understanding ARM 11 Exception Errors ARM 11 Exception Errors are hardware exceptions that occur in the ARM 11 CPU architecture. On the 3DS, they can be triggered by various factors, such as Corrupted system files Incompatible or buggy homebrew applications Issues with installed custom firmware, CFW Hardware malfunctions Step-by-step -step guide to fix ARM 11 exception error Step 1, restart your device Before diving into more complex solutions, a simple restart of your 3DS can sometimes resolve temporary glitches. One hold down the power button until the 3DS powers off. Two wait a few seconds, then turn it back on. Step 2, boot into safe mode. If the error persists, try booting into safe mode to perform a system recovery. 1. Turn off the 3DS. 2. Press and hold the L, R, A, and up on the D-pad buttons. 3. While holding these buttons, press the power button to turn on the device. If the console boots into safe mode, you can attempt to perform a system update or format the system to restore it to factory settings. Step 3, Update or Reinstall Custom Firmware If you are using custom firmware, CFW, it may be necessary to update it or reinstall it. 1. Download the latest version of your CFW, such as Luma 3DS, from the official source. To replace the existing files on your SD card with the new ones. 3. Boot your 3DS with the updated CFW. Note asterisk ensure you have a backup of your data before proceeding, as this can sometimes lead to data loss. Step 4. Run system check and repair. If you still experience errors, you can use tools like God Mode 9 or FBI, if you have CFW, to check for corrupted files. 1. Boot into your CFW menu, Luma 3DS. 2. Launch God Mode 9 or FBI. 3. Navigate to the SD card and check for corrupted files. 4. You can also check the Nintendo 3DS data for any issues. Example code for using God Mode 9. Here's an example of how to use God Mode 9 to check for corrupted files. 1. After booting into God Mode 9, select scripts from the main menu. 2. Choose check for corrupt files. 3. Follow the on-screen instructions to scan and repair files. Step 5. Perform a factory reset. As a last resort, you may choose to perform a factory reset. This will erase all data on your device, so ensure you back up everything important. 1. Navigate to System Settings. 2. Scroll down to Other Settings. 3. Go to Format System Memory and follow the prompts. Important Notes. Back up your data asterisk Always make sure you back up your saved data and important files before performing any operations that might lead to data loss. Use trusted sources asterisk only download updates and tools from trusted sources to avoid malware. Stay informed asterisk follow community forums and guides specific to your CFW for the latest troubleshooting tips. Conclusion Fixing an ARM 11 exception error can require a bit of troubleshooting, especially if you are using custom firmware. By following the steps outlined above, you can potentially resolve the issue without needing to resort to professional repair services. If the problem persists after trying all these methods, it may indicate a more serious hardware issue, and you may need to contact Nintendo support or a professional repair service.